Good. All right, where's she going to fit? Here's the, here's the list you've got to vote from and how to vote as well. Run through that lot and uh, try and pick out your favourite horse from the 60s and 70s. And to do that, you need to, uh, to vote. And the way to do that is to go to racingnetwork.com.au and vote for your favourite horse. Greg Carpenter might be able to help you out though. Uh, of course, uh, Greg, uh, chief handicapper for and historian for Racing Victoria. Here's Greg's thoughts on that era. The 60s and 70s was a golden era in Australian racing with a rich and rare vein of champions sprinkled through those 20 years. My number five in order is Rain Lover, the mighty stayer from Adelaide, who as a three-year-old won the Adelaide St Ledger and then heralded his arrival on the Australian racing scene with victory in the Adelaide Cup. He only came to Melbourne as a four-year-old and during the spring ran a good six in the Caulfield Cup before winning the McKinnon and then storming home to win the 1968 Melbourne Cup by eight lengths. He goes down for me as one of the great stayers of Australian racing and number five in my order in 60s and 70s. Number four from this period is the great Tobin Bronze. As a three-year-old he won the Geelong Derby trial and then won the Victorian Derby. But it was a four-year-old that he really set his name in the Australian folklore. He won a string of weight for age races, culminating in his first victory in the Cox Plate and then the McKinnon Stakes just a week later. He was to go on and win two Cox Plates, as well as a number of races at Wait for Age, and is number four for me in the 60s and 70s. My number three for the 60s and 70s is the great Bart Cummings stayer, Galilee. We didn't see him come to Melbourne to his four-year-old season. He won the Turak Handicap, the Caulfield Cup, and the Melbourne Cup in a great spring in his four-year-old season. His great rival during that period was Tobin Bronze. Tobin Bronze beat him in the McKinnon, but Galilee turned the tables on the CB Fisher Plate on the last day of the carnival. One of his greatest victories was in the following year's Sydney Cup, where he carried 60 and a half kilos and won by six lengths. His win in the Sydney Cup still revered by many as one of the great staying performances on the Australian turf. For me, Galilee, number three in the 60s and 70s. Number two for me in the 60s and 70s is the mighty Manicato. A high-class two-year-old, he won the Blue Diamond and the Golden Slipper and then returned as a three-year-old to win the Caulfield Guineas. It was during his three-year-old season that he matched it with the very best at Wait for Age. He won the Ore Stakes, the Futurity Stakes when it was run over 1,800 metres and then the George Ryder in Sydney. He was a horse whose longevity will live long in the minds of Australian fans. Unlucky not to be my first choice, but Manicato is my number two for the 60s and 70s. My top selection for the 60s and 70s is the great champion Vane. A winner of 12 of his 14 starts, many believe he should have retired undefeated. He won the Golden Slipper as a two-year-old, beat Darrell's Joy to win the Caulfield Guineas, and then in a stellar week at Flemington through the Melbourne Cup Carnival, won the VRC Stakes at Wait for Age against the older horses by 12 lengths, on Oaks Day won the Linlithgow Stakes over 1,400 metres by six lengths, and then carried 55 and a half to win the George Adams handicap against older horses at a mile. The equivalent of a 61 and a half in post as an older horse. Those who saw him race can't have him behind black caviar. And for me, that tells me that he was surely the greatest champion of the 60s and 70s.